Second up is App Store. This rule applies regardless of what routine is scheduled, and you can change this setting at any time. You'll see Allow App Store as an option. This controls whether your child has the Google Play App Store available on their Bark phone. When it's disabled here, the Play Store app disappears from the child's home screen and app drawer. If you've allowed the App Store, you'll also see the option for Require App Approval. And when this is enabled, it suspends any new app your child installs on their Bark phone until you approve it in your Bark dashboard. You'll receive an email, text, or push notification about the request depending on what notification settings you've got set up. There you can decide to allow the app or block it. If you block the app that your child requested, it actually uninstalls it at that point from their Bark phone. Lastly, if you select Allow App Removal, it lets the child uninstall apps from their device. Now that we've talked about what these settings do, I want to highlight this guide here that helps you and your child sign into the Google Play Store if you're running into issues. By nature, Google Play needs a Google account signed in to allow your child to download apps from there. There are some Google accounts that are under supervision by Google Family Link that will not be able to sign into Google Play on a Bark phone. This is because Family Link is trying to control the device, but Bark is already in the driver's seat. We can't have both Google and Bark controlling the device. For that reason, you'll need to sign in with a regular Google account into the Google Play Store, rather than a supervised Google account. For more information on this, check out our link in the video below or click on this guide in your dashboard and it'll walk you through what your options are for your situation. That's the App Store stuff. Next up, we're gonna talk about the contact settings.